La Rochelle, France hosted the start of the Velux Five Oceans race October 17th. This is the world's toughest single-handed sailing race, the ultimate solo challenge, with each sailor attempting a 30,000-mile voyage across some of the most unforgiving seas in the world. You see you there, man. Yeah. Oh, see you. The skippers race in five separate ocean sprints across the globe, with four stopovers in Cape Town, Wellington, Salvador and Charleston before returning to La Rochelle in May 2011. The race start ceremony began with the departure of the iconic French tall ship, the Bel M. Five skippers from five different countries gathered in front of the Velux house in the race village for the departure ceremony. First down to his boat is 48-year-old Christophe Bullens. Belgium's representative nearly didn't make it to the race when his boat dismasted en route to La Rochelle. But he now has a new boat and has named it Five Oceans of Smiles 2 in support of a children's charity in Brussels. Ah là c'était du non-stop presque donc euh, j'ai dormi euh, je pense euh, deux heures depuis euh... Donc, euh, ouais, c'était beaucoup de travail, euh, mais l'équipe a été fantastique pour préparer le bateau, pour, pour aider ça. Et puis, euh, bah, maintenant, je vais pouvoir euh, découvrir le bateau. Ouais. The youngest competitor in the race at 33 is the UK's Chris Stanmore Major, who has only recently returned from the Clipper Round the World race, where he skippered the Qingdao boat. We've done a few bits and bobs. I'm sure that as I get going, there's going to be a little job, so I'm going to have to finish off, tidy up, all that kind of stuff. But um, that's sailing. The jobs are never done. The boat's never finished. You just got to hold it all together till you get to the next port. We've had a fantastic reception here, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to getting back in here first <laughs> next time. He's now sailing in Sir Robin Knox Johnston's former boat, Grey Power, which came fourth in the last edition of the race and has been renamed Spartan. Zbigniew Gotowski, at 36, is one of Poland's most experienced sailors. He specializes in both inshore and offshore racing. Known as Gutek, he hopes to be the first Polish skipper to ever sail solo around the world. <laughs> Next down to his boat is 57-year-old Derek Hatfield from Canada. My last, my last race didn't go so well, so I'm maybe a little bit conservative, a little bit cautious. Getting away cleanly from the start without having any incident or having you know any collisions or having problems. And uh, once I'm around that turning mark at the top, then I'm safe. I'm, I'm home free. Thank you, everybody. Derek has racked up 90,000 miles at sea and is Canada's most successful solo sailor. The former Mountie is attempting his second Velux Five Oceans race, having survived a huge storm to come third in 2002. The 42-year-old American Brad Van Loo is a self-proclaimed adrenaline junkie. Based in Charleston, North Carolina, this is his third solo global adventure. In 2002, Brad won every leg of the former Around Alone race in his boat Tommy Hilfiger. His new boat, Le Penguin, was formerly owned by the French sailing legend Catherine Chabot, the first woman to race solo around the world without stopping. You say it's been like seven years or eight years since, since uh, you know, I did this, so we'll just get stuck into it, you know, see where, my, where I end up. I mean, the hardest thing is probably going to be saying goodbye to the kids, you know, and, and, uh, and Megan, and uh, you know, it takes a couple days for me to sort of get in the groove. So. I've got great confidence in them all. But nevertheless, there's a, there's a pang inside you when you see your friends depart like this. These boats are a new class known as Eco 60s, and to qualify, they have to have been built before 2003. This allows skippers to present an ecological and financial alternative to the newer and more expensive counterparts. And at speeds of up to 30 knots, they give their skippers a fast racing platform. At 1600 local time, the Bel M sounded the start of the Velux Five Oceans race 2010. In nine months, the winner will return here to La Rochelle after completing an epic voyage.
hundreds of well-wishers turned out to wish these five brave men bon voyage to Cape Town, the start of the first leg of the Velux Five Oceans race.